Y'all get ready. Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Say my name, say my name. You acting kind of shady. Ain't calling me baby. Better say my name. Yes, honey. Shout out to all the 90s kids. I know y'all remember Say My Name. That was my jam back in high school. So we have some 90s tea, okay? So what's going down is that Fair Franklin, honey, they done drug her out of somewhere, okay? Last time we heard of her, she was intoxicated, you know what I'm saying? Drunk and some fuck shit and got arrested. We hadn't heard from her in years. Well, now she's back because an old clip, her and Keely Williams, okay? Keely that I talked about the other day from 3LW, you know, I'm getting a little tired of your poker promises, the promises looking at your page, taking different numbers, numbers. Her, okay, that's Keely. So they were scheduled to do a reality TV show together, and so they shot a pilot. It's supposed to be like her, Keely, and I don't know some other people, honey. They shot the pilot, and for whatever reason, it was not picked up. You can tell in this TV show, Keely was definitely living up to her character, her persona, how everybody perceives her. She was definitely being rude and messy. Y'all go ahead and check out this clip really quick here. Nobody knows each other's full story. Right. Except you know for I mean? I've been in two multi-platinum successful groups. And, I've been and they the, weren't disbanded. And I've been in the biggest one and they're still together. I know, but you weren't in it. I wasn't in it. I sold 19 million albums on Say My Name. I know, but did you... Did I what? Ask? Did you? S Absolutely, I sing. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw that clip. So now what's going on is that basically more behind the scenes footage has been leaking online. And there's new footage. And basically in this um, scene, Farrah Franklin is saying that she was sexually harassed by Beyonce's daddy, honey, Matthew Knowles. And if you guys remember at that time when Say My Name came out, that was like back in like 1999. Fair was 18 at the time, so she was definitely, you know, of age, but she was way younger than Matthew Knowles, and Matthew was definitely in a position of, you know, authority over her, so that's not cool. But anyways, y'all go ahead and check out this video, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. All of the bad seeds are now out of this. Former member of Destiny's Child. Say my name, say my name. Say my name. Unfortunately, my manager happened to be Beyonce's father. Matthew Knowles, he propositioned me, invited me over to the hotel to meet and speak with him. Did Matthew try to sleep with you, Farrah? Um, I haven't met too many people in my life who haven't liked me. I'll just put it like that. <laughs> Five short months after Farrah joined the group, her dream was over. Well, it's better for you to go home and be all of the bad seeds are now out of Destiny's job. And I said, come see me, she's like, well, if you don't want to talk to my dad, you don't have to talk to me either. And then I said, yo, I don't have to listen to this And she's like, you don't, you can get the fuck out. I'm Keely, and I am formerly... Honey... All right, so you guys just saw that video. You guys heard what Farrah had to say. You know, and a lot of people are going off on her and saying, you're just clout chasing. You know, of course, the beehive, you know, they're stinging her and shit at this point. Like, you know, leave Beyonce's name out of this. You were kicked out the group damn near 20 years ago, bitch. Stay gone. So they're dragging her. But in my personal opinion, I don't think this is really far-fetched. Again, why y'all acting like Matthew's some patron saint? This is the same man who literally destroyed his marriage in like 30 years because why? The first woman he knocked up, she was working with him. She was just like, you know, a regular woman in her 30s. He knocked her up. And then a few years later, he got caught messing with one of Solange's friends, who, of course, was in her 20s, which was way younger than Matthew. But she was in her 20s at the time, and she got knocked up, and she had Matthew Knowles, little pretty little brown-skinned daughter. Okay, coy. So, I, you know, I can see Matthew Knowles, you know what I'm saying, flirting and trying to get with Farrah. She's not no ugly girl. She's very pretty. And like I said, his second baby mother was in her early 20s when he knocked her up, and he was way much older. So I don't really put this past Matthew. But what I find funny about this situation, why I say karma is real and definitely has no expiration date. If you guys don't know, a few months ago I had posted this on Instagram. Matthew Knowles was out here trying to sell his latest book, okay? Now, I will give Matthew Knowles this when it comes to finance. And, you know, money, he knows his shit. Okay, I've watched him talk about money. He definitely knows his shit. I like them videos. 
But when it talks to him trying to sell these books and this salacious shit, he's always trying to do the most, okay? Just like the last book he was selling, he was talking about, you know, the only reason why Beyonce made it was because she's light-skinned and, you know, he only got what Tina knows because initially he thought she was white and then came out she was Creole. Like, he was trying to play the whole colorism aspect, and I had to call him out on that. Like, don't don't sit here and talk about your daughter's skin tone, but you have a beautiful, you know, talented little brown-skinned daughter who's gorgeous, and you keep her in hiding, Hi guys, I'm Coy, and I'm in Houston with Hurricane Harvey. Be sure to check on your loved ones every few hours. So I don't want to hear that you're trying to be the champion for dark-skinned women, especially when your new girl group, there's not one dark-skinned person in that group. So he does a lot of stuff for attention. But so his latest ploy was he was speaking to Vlad TV and basically dropped the bomb and said that members of Jagged Edge were harassing, were sexually harassing Beyonce and Kelly. Okay. Uh, I got a call from Kelly and Beyonce, and I talk about this in the book in detail, uh, saying that they were constantly being harassed by two other members of, of Jacket Edge. Uh, and I couldn't have that. And I literally had to put the guys off the bus in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. That began all of this drama. And yeah. So this was a few months ago. And when I tell you people were dragging Jagged Edge, and you know, they're you know, they're a nineties group, they kind of keep to themselves. So Jagged Edge was really pissed because now I do know that Latoya and Latavia, who Fair Franklin replaced, um, along with Michelle Williams, they were both dating, I think, the twins in Jagged Edge. I know they were dating Jagged Edge members, okay? I believe they were both dating one of the twins. So that was an issue for Matthew Knowles. That was a conflict for, you know, Destiny's Child when they were going on tour and all this stuff. But for him to put it out there and say that both of these guys who were 25 years old were, you know, harassing Kelly and Beyonce and it was his fiduciary duties to protect his daughters. And I understand that. But isn't it ironic when word got back to Jagged Edge, they went off. They called Matthew Knowles out. They basically said he was a liar. And they said that if he keeps it up, they're going to file a lawsuit. So this is what um, Jagged Edge had to say. One of their fans says, y'all are my favorite group. I swear they better not tarnish the legacy. I seen the interview clip. Like, why? And then official Jagged Edge says, thank you. We engaged our legal team. We will manage all that level. Okay. They really can't write. <laughs> I think what they meant to say is, thank you, we engage our legal team, and we'll let them manage it at that level. Okay, anyways. Then they go on to say this. Brian Casey from Jacket Edge says, a lie don't care who tell it. One thing I've learned from my 20 plus years in this business, and it's always something. It's actually funny how far people will go to sell something. LOL. But I give it, but I give all praises to the most high. So that's what Jacket Edge said. Then Matthew Knowles came back and cleaned it up and was like, well, you know, maybe it wasn't sexual harassment, but I just didn't feel comfortable. So then he started backtracking and pussy popping when Jagged Edge threatened to sue him. I've really been troubled by what I'm reading and hearing, uh, speaking that Jagged Edge sexually harassed Beyonce and Kelly. That absolutely are not the words that I use. Uh, I feel the need to clarify that I did not say the girls were sexually harassed while on tour with Jagged Edge. What I said was, is they were harassed. The term sexual harassment may imply to some to mean physical sexual advances. And I certainly would not throw the members of Jagged Edge under the bus in a world that we live in today using sexual in part of any dialogue. And I made damn sure that I was careful not to do that. I hope those of you who did apologize. So what I find very funny is, now he tried to blast Jagged Edge just out the blue to sell his book. And now he himself is being blasted by a former member of Destiny's Child. So you see how karma is real and how karma works? Now he's facing the same backlash and the same nonsense and the same energy that he tried to put out there towards Jagged Edge to sell his book.
So this entire situation is a hot damn mess, honey. I'm just going to sit back, sip my tea, and see how all this mess plays out. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy situation, honey. Concerning Farrah Franklin, a former member of Destiny's Child, basically admitting in her reality TV show that never got picked up that Matthew knows, you know sexually harassed her do you believe what she has to say do you feel like it could be a possibility or do you feel like you know what she's just looking for attention and then how do you feel about the fact that Matthew Knowles kind of did the same thing to Jagged Edge a few months ago only for his shit to not be out there months later so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces (laughs) 